The idea that we can feel which muscles are activating and which muscles are experiencing high tension and will therefore grow more is seen as almost axiomatically true, undeniable, unquestionable. But I'm a big proponent of facts over feelings. We had a group of strength trained athletes perform a pool day workout consisting of the following exercises. Pull downs, barbell and dumbbell rows, pull overs, reverse flies and biceps curls. We standardized the exercise intensity and we asked all of the athletes how well they felt the exercise in certain muscle groups. And then we also measured the objective level of muscle activity using electromyography. By correlating the subjective and the objective level of muscle activity, we could see if people can subjectively or intuitively sense how well a muscle is activating during a certain exercise. There were no significant correlations at all between subjective and objective muscle activity. The correlations that were there were small, inconsistent, and not even always positive. Statistically, all of these correlations were insignificant. For example, during barbell rows, the athletes did not feel their rear delts. They did not feel them as much as their lats or their traps, and they also didn't feel them as much as during dumbbell rows. And that's not reflected in the EMG data at all, and also doesn't make any biomechanical sense. You can see in the correlation charts that while some of the lines are somewhat positive, many of the lines actually run downward, they are negative, and many of the lines are almost flat, meaning there's just no correlation between subjective and objective muscle activity levels. Many people don't feel certain muscle groups at all. Many people have trouble with their lats, for example, the delts, the glutes, uh, to the extent even that some people think they have gluteal amnesia because they don't feel their glutes when they're squatting, for example. So overall, I think these results make sense, they fit with practice, and they make biomechanical sense. It's unlikely that EMG research is just completely wrong, and it's much more likely that our intuitive sense of how much a muscle group is activating is just not based on any objective reality.